So I don't know how many uh, saw they had a, a story on CNN the other day. Uh, one part was about this article that Spike Lee had written in this uh, magazine with some very, you know, frankly racist comments directed at uh, Hillary and uh, Bill Clinton. And the other part of the story was uh, how black people that support Hillary feel like they have to do it in hiding and uh, their struggle with this. Uh, there was also a poem that apparently has been circulating around the web trying to guilt black people into voting for Obama. I, I found that interesting because I'm the exact opposite. See, I feel like I have to go out of my way to tell people that I support Hillary because I'm black. Frankly, it really bothers me to think that when most people uh, see you, they automatically think you are an Obama supporter. Uh, so I say it loudly and proudly, and yeah, I get on the rest of my family, m most of which those who vote are voting for Obama and as, of they, as they have told me, just because he's black for no other reason. Uh, that bothers me. Um, but one of the things with this story is that, you know, this whole guilt trip thing. I mean, before this, there was stories on the news about how white voters for Obama were basically voting out of what they call white guilt, and now we hear stories where they're using black guilt. It's like, can't anybody vote for this guy just because they want to? I mean, I, I'm i proud to vote for Hillary. I, I'm, I'm proud that she's a woman. I'm not voting for her because she's a woman. Uh, but that would not that would not be enough to get me to vote for her um but i'd like to hear you know from any other blacks out there who hear this and are supporting hillary and what are your friends and family saying to you about it because i don't know how much of this is really going on nobody in my family has tried to pressure me into voting for him because they know it would be a waste of time if they did uh, but it it really concerns me, irritates me that as an entire race in this country, we're supposed to all rally around this one guy basically just for that reason. Why? And to me, the idea of, of having to uh, coerce or pressure people into doing it is as bad as the time when blacks first got the right to vote in this country and you had uh, you know racist whites intimidating them to keep them from going to the polls to vote well it's how is this no different than that if you basically are pressuring people and then there was reports that uh, that black voters in the districts of black um, super delegates who are elected officials had threatened them. I mean, they uh, these people told stories where they had to change their cell phone numbers three and four times because they were getting pretty much harassed, and they were, in essence, being forced to switch from Hillary to support him, or l risk losing their district support. I mean, if that's not the tactics of, uh, you know, essentially a terrorist, then what is? I. I, and yet, this hasn't really been an issue on the news, but um, if you remember about a week or so ago when a, a couple of people uh, in the Democratic Party sent this letter to Nancy Pelosi and asked her to uh, clarify her remarks as about who the superdelegate should uh, vote for, this was blown out of proportion as threats from these people and of course again more negative uh, fallback on Hillary but this is just one of the trillion double standards between how the media covers these two candidates another of course being the difference in how uh, the polls have dropped for the both of them based on these uh, last two stories the, the Reverend Wright 
and uh, this Hillary and the sniper fire, which wasn't there. Uh, but the difference, I mean, time and time again, anything she does seems to reflect 20 times more negatively than anything he does, even if the thing he does is 20 times worse. Not that he said those things that Wright did, but, you know, he, he knew they were being said, obviously. But anyway, uh, again, the pressure that's being put on blacks to support him. Uh, yeah, I, I would love to see a black person become president, but voting for the most unqualified person left in the race just to see that happen? What... What are the rest of you thinking? I I don't get it. I mean, it is also it bothers me because of how the Clintons have been betrayed as racists. Never in my life would I believe that they would have been painted in this light. Um, you know, part of what uh, Spike Lee had said in this article that he wrote was using terms like Oh, Massa Clinton, he done done real good by us. Oh, Massa Clinton, he he done given us lots of jobs at one point, but now we field and house niggers or whatever. We got to revolt. We got to stand up for ourselves or whatever it was. I don't remember word for word, but that was the gist of it. But again, I mean, one of the things that I really admire about the Clintons is they do have this sense of loyalty that they are loyal to those who are loyal to them and if you believe in that you should at least give them the fair chance the benefit of the doubt you don't have to support them if you don't agree with their policies but to turn your back on them and believe these horrible things that the media has done as a justification to support Obama mm -mm, no way I mean, it's almost as if they had to they had to paint them as these horrible racist monsters in order to justify maybe to themselves and to everyone else why they weren't supporting them. Uh, but to me, that's wrong, especially when if anybody has interjected racism into this race, it, it has been Obama and his wife and his uh, campaign. I mean, when you have Michelle saying we need a black president and family in the White House at this time in our country's history to send a message to the rest of the world, how does that not make this about race? Which is the thing Obama claims, oh, it shouldn't be about. Support me because I'm going to turn the page. I'm going to improve the country and yada, yada, yada. But at every turn, they've done this. But uh, the thing that really takes me off the most is how he has used the black American experience as his own, which I absolutely believe he has no claim to. I mean, there are dark-skinned people in this country from almost every country imaginable. Uh, but being black American is more than just a skin color. I mean, there are Indians who are three shades darker than me but I wouldn't consider them black neither would they I don't consider Obama black you know he has used the struggle of from slavery days to civil rights days and tried to build this unity with the black community sorry for the rhyme like a Jesse Jackson moment there but he's done this and shameful shamelessly so but like I said, it is more than just a skin color. It's experiences. And when you grow up in a very nice area of Hawaii, you grow up in Indonesia, you are raised by a white mother, an Indonesian stepfather, and white grandparents, and had really no contact with your uh, black African side of your family until you were, what, 35, 40 years old? How do you know what it's like to grow up black in this country? He doesn't. He speaks of the civil rights movement, uh, which he's benefited from, but his family had no involvement whatsoever in it. He has no right to do this, but he's doing it, and he's getting away with it 
And of course, the other side of that is if he didn't have this uh, very diverse uh, heritage and background and uh, did carry the baggage that any black person who comes up uh, in this country uh, would have, he couldn't get elected. I mean, by whites. He, they would not vote for him if he had all this. Uh, so we're not making progress by voting for him. When we can elect somebody like that, yeah, then we will be making progress in this country. I want to see a black person become president, but I want to wait for a real one and one that's actually qualified to be the president.